about Ford, Hap, and the win from Aaron Boone in the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, uh, Friday it was Talkman with four ribbies. Last night it was Clint with five. Tonight it was Ford. It, it seems like you're getting production from all the different guys that are the next man up. What, what have you liked from Ford's at-bats this season and tonight? Yeah, actually, you feel like Fordy's still working to kind of get rolling here a little bit. Um, but, you know, when he's going good, I mean, he controls the strike zone and, and, and can hit, hit the ball in the seats. And we saw him do that tonight. Um, that's what he's capable of when he gets in that, in that really good flow. You know, he, he really knows the zone and, and has that pull power, um, you know, and, and gives us a different look, obviously, even though we had a bunch of lefties in there at times, you know, we're a little right-handed heavy. He gives us that left-handed thump that's, that's nice to have. Uh, just some numbers for you to, to dwell on here. 9-0 and to start this season at home. Nine straight against the Red Sox and 14 of your last 15. Uh, just hearing those numbers, what does that mean? <laughs> we, we, we got a big one tomorrow. We got Perez. We got, um, we got Monty going for us. And, you know, it's nice that we've, we've had success playing them of late. But uh, tomorrow's a new day, and, and that's what we're kind of focused on. And uh, Hap tonight, uh, a real bounce back start for him. What did you see out of Jay tonight? Yeah, he was great. He really, um, I thought he was aggressive in the strike zone. Um, you know, I, I thought it was probably the best life we've seen at the top of the zone since, you know, since even going back to spring. But the two seamer really played for him as well. Um, you know, he mixed in he mixed in the slider enough. I don't think he threw a ton of change ups, but I thought he was at the bottom and top of the zone and on both sides of the plate with the fastball really effective and he was pitch efficient. I mean, he was, you know, into that sixth inning um, and really dictating counts and 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 dictating the, the pace of everything. I thought he was terrific. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Bruce Beck, go ahead. You have the next question. Aaron, shades of last year when, when you continued to win despite a multitude of stars being on the shelf. So what is it about the depth and talent of this team that enables you to continue to win even with a depleted lineup? Well, we, had, we have really good players and, and guys that are confident in their ability, no matter what the role, that when they're in there, you know, they're going to be counted on to produce and produce in a big way. And, uh, you know, Everyone we ran out there tonight um, is capable of of impacting big league games. They know that, um, you know they're they're prepared for that, and uh, you know credit to them. They continue to go out there and deliver and 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 do their part.